So in this video, I'm going to cover the topics like what exactly the random scan display and what is exam by taking an example. And random scan display processor, it's an architecture. Advantages and disadvantages of using this random scan display and we will also see about what exactly the color CRT monitor is and there are two different methods of color CRT monitor are there beam penetration and shadow mask. So those two methods we are going to discuss in this video. So at the by the end of this video you will get a clear clarity on what exactly this random scan display is. Okay. So now let's see what is a random scan display. A random scan display is also called as a vector display. We usually call it as a vector display. So that means here user to draw a line drawing applications where draws pictures one line at a time. This is a very important point. So the main concept of random scan display here it is. It is user to draw the lines. Okay. A line, line drawing applications we are going to use this random scan display. Okay, and here the pictures are drawn one line at a time. So if this is one point and this is one point, a line segment is drawing one at a time. In random scan display, the beam penetration method is used. It uses the ge geometrical pr uh, primitives like points, lines, curves, and even the polygons, all are based on mathematical equations. So random scan display is based on the mathematical equation means while drawing the lines it is going to consider either the points or it can consider the lines or in the curves it's going to create a curves completely based on the mathematical equations in random uh, random screen monitors the certain part of the screen is used where the electron beam is projected so let's take the example of the random scan display. The example is a pen plotter is one of the example of the random scan display. So here I'm taking one example like suppose if you want to draw a triangle. So this is your triangle. So this is your triangle or anything. Okay. If you want to draw this triangle ABC. So this is ABC. So ABC on the screen. The commands will be as, as, as follows. So A contains, so if it is, this is on uh, a 2D X and Y axis. So here X, Y coordinates are there. And for B point, X, Y coordinates are there. For C point, X, Y coordinates are required. Whenever the X, Y coordinates are there, then you are able to draw a line one at a time. So first what it is saying, draw the line from A to B. So first it is trying to draw the line from A to B. And then it is, so the C here, this is the line from A to B b and it is going to draw the line from b to c so next it is going to draw the line from c to a so then your triangle is going to appear on the screen okay so this is in random scan each line segment this is one line segment line three line segments or there each line segment is drawn on the screen by directing the beam to move from one point to the next point this is one point and it is moving to the next point on the screen each point on the screen represents the x and y coordinate that is what i said x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 okay and it is designed all the lines of the images 30 to 60, ta uh, 60 times each second. So that is a main advantage of using this random scan display. So if you see here, in, this is a random scan display processor. So it's just like our processor only, but the, here the display processor is added. So which creates a graphic uh, features. So the system bus is there. The system bus is consisting of the address bus, data bus and the control bus. Data bus and the control bus. So here uh, IO devices are connected. So IO devices, the uh, peripheral devices are connected to the system bus. The system bus is used to communicate between the internal parts and the external parts of your system and the cpu is the main heart of the computer and the, here the system memory is there which is used to store your uh, uh, the ram the operating system everything the related information and the display processor is going it is used for the graphical images and whatever the information that is generated uh, based on the input given to by the user the display is going uh, display processor is going to display the image on the monitor 
so in the random scan now let's have a uh, discussion on this what exactly this working principle of this random scan display in random scan display the input is in the form of an application program so the user is trying to give the uh, information in the form of an application program okay a uh, code is going to be given by the user which is used to store in the system memory that is what i said so here the system memory is there which is used to store whatever the program or the system related information everything will be stored on the system program memory along with the graphics package whereas the graphic package translates the graphic commands in application program into a display file stored in the system memory so graphic package is used to translate the uh, means already the library functions are relating to the graphics are stored in this graphics package then this display file is accessed by the display processor to refresh the screen the display processor cycles through each command in the display file pro program and this display processor is, is also referred to as a display processing unit or sometimes used to call it as a graphics controller now let's see the advantages and disadvantages of using this random scan random scan display is having higher resolution as compared to the raster scan so that is one of the main advantages it is going to generate a higher resolutions and it produces smooth line drawing also and it, it requires only the less memory see how many advantages are there so these are all the very fetching advantages so we require the high resolution and we require the smooth line drawing and uh, the memory storage should be less then what about the disadvantages of using this random scan realistic images with the different shades cannot be drawn okay so realistic images is not supported by this random scan display and color limitation is there in random scan so you can't uh, you can all the colors will not displayed by the random scan even though it gives a high resolution smooth line drawing and takes less memory but the color limitation is there and the realistic images will not be uh, get the clarity okay now let's have a look on what the color crt monitor so far you had learned about what exactly the random scan display and the working principle of random scan and the advantages and disadvantages of using the random scan let's have a look on what exactly this color crt monitor is the color crt monitor displays images using the combination of the phosphorus which emits the different color light the phosphorus that is going to be uh, that emits the different color light from the combination of emitted range of light colors can be produced from different phosphorus generally there are two basic techniques uh, for making the color display with the crt so if you want to display colors on the crt monitor screen there are basic two techniques are there either we can use beam penetration method and shadow mask method just have a look on what exactly this beam penetration is and what shadow mask is i'll just give an overview regarding this what exactly it means beam penetration method it is similar to the normal crt only but it uses only one electron gun okay just like a crt crt is also using only one electronic gun okay uh, yes it is only it is using only one electronic gun so it is similar to normal crt and it uses only one electron gun it displays the color images by using the random scan monitor with the help of the random scan monitor only it is going to display the color images it uses two layers of phosphorus a uh, two layers of phosphorus is there one is red and another is a green which are coated to, on the inside of the crt screen so the crt screen is there inside the crt screen this uh, phosphorus is coated with red and green the color depends on how far the electron beam penetrates the phosphorus layers so this is what exactly the beam penetration is so it is just like a crt only it consisting of only one electron gun remember only one electron gun is there and it has the two layers of phosphorus that are coated inside the crt skin one is the red and the green the beam penetration random scan has been an inexpensive way to generate the colors in the monitor because it is only using the two colors only and uh, uh, the realistic image support will not be appeared here in the random scan so the beam penetration random scan has been an inexpensive way it's not an expensive it is an inexpensive way to generate the colors in the monitors but only four colors are possible and the picture quality is not as good as compared with the other method that is what i'm saying it realistic images will not be appeared uh, clearly here 
because here we are using only the two colors the red and the green colors that are coated inside the crt screen the phosphorus is coated inside the crt screen so even though it is inexpensive uh, inexpensive but only four colors are possible here and even the picture quality is also not as good as when compared to the other methods now let's see what the about the shadow mask method is this drawback is overcome by using the shadow mask method let's see it is commonly used a technique which uses a raster scan system the shadow mask is generally used the raster scan whereas the beam penetration is used by the random scan it produces much wide ranges of colors compared to the beam penetration see here the drawback whatever the beam penetration is having it is overcoming this shadow mask the shadow mask is providing wide range of colors whereas the beam penetration is producing only four colors in this the pixel is made up of three colors so due to these three colors it it uses three electron guns suppose if it is only uh, previously the random scan is only using one electron gun but here in the shadow mask it uses a three electron guns one producing each color a phosphorus dot emits a red color light a second emits a green color light and the third emits a blue color light so the three electron guns each gun is producing its red color and a green color and the blue color rgb like this the crt has three electron guns one for each color point and a shadow mask grid just behind the phosphorus coated screen so this is about the shadow mask so i hope you get the clarity on what exactly the random scan is and what is the color crt monitor so still if you facing any doubt please let me know thank you